What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, I'm showing you guys how to get separate app notification sounds on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Basically, if you want to have a different notification sound for each individual app, like Facebook, Instagram, X, whatever, Slack, you know, Gmail, you can have a different one for every single app. Samsung makes it pretty hard to do. I was hoping I wouldn't have to make this video this year because I made it last year. I was hoping they would change this process so it wouldn't be so complicated, but unfortunately they didn't. So here we are. We're going to get into that today. Before we get started, make sure to check out our website, samiguru.com. We cover the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews for you guys in real time. Uh, over there, we also have our mystery box program. So if you haven't already purchased a Galaxy S25 device, you can tap on the orange banner at the very top. It'll take you to our verification page. Purchase your phone through one of our links here. We've got all three models. Submit the verification form, and you'll get a free case cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly assorted goodies. This goes through February 7th, which is when the pre-order process ends. It'll be in the pinned comment description if you're interested. So first of all, you guys probably know how to get uh, overall notification sounds on your device. If you go into settings and sounds and vibration, right here, it's very simply laid out, notification sounds right here. Um, you can change the volume, you can get a vibration pattern, you can change this to any of the preloaded sounds. And uh, this changes, you know, all of your basic notifications. Let me actually turn on some volume here so we can hear some of these lovely sounds in the video as we go. So you can change that, but that's not going to change it on a per app basis. So you can't have a different sound for each individual app from this menu. Now you can add a custom sound. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it really quickly. If you go into your files and you've downloaded a custom sound, I downloaded the LG Good Morning ringtone just to, you know, be ironic or whatever. You can move this, uh, go into your internal storage and scroll down to where it says notifications. Go ahead and tap on that and then go ahead and move it right in there. And now that will be inside. So if you go in the notification folder, I have these two custom sounds. That will now be something you can choose. And so if I go back over here, you'll now see that I had that cha-ching sound. You guys saw the one that I had custom loaded before that said cha-ching. That one, the LG one, will then also show up here. Sometimes it takes a minute. Oops, there it is right there. You see the LG good morning sound. And then I could get this as a notification. So that's overall notifications. If you want to change it on a per app basis, though, you can still add custom sounds as long as they're in the notification folder. But there's an extra step, and Samsung makes it a little complicated. You got to go to the notification setting right here, tap on that, tap on advanced settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom here, right above wireless emergency alerts, it says manage notification categories for each app. Now, this is off by default. I've turned it on on my device since I got it but this is off on your Galaxy S25 device. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is switch that on. Once you've switched this on, what you'll do is back out twice, go down and find apps in the settings, which is right below device care. And now you're gonna to need to find each app that you wanna change the notification sounds for. So let's just start with one that you know I use a lot. Let's go to Facebook. Everybody probably wants to change their social and their messaging, right? So in here, you don't want to go to anything to do with sounds. There are some options here, but go to notifications. And then once you go to notifications, you're going to go down here. And this is what we enabled in the advanced settings that I just showed you, notification categories. These don't show up by default. Now, don't need to worry about changing any of these unless you want to change the specific place that the notifications show up. You need to tap on notification categories. And then for any new notifications that you would like a specific sound, you can go in and change it. So let's say that for comments on my post, I want a different sound. Now you have it on alert, so it's gonna make a sound, show is pop-up, here's where you can change it right here, sound. You can either use the app provided sound, which is the one that Facebook provides, or you can choose any sounds, not only the ones that are already on your device from Samsung, but also custom ones that you loaded, for instance, like this one that I have from LG. So you can add that and you can do it for each individual category. Now, the downside to this, of course, as I talked about last year, is that you have to change the sound for each of the things that you want within each app. So if you want a different sound for comments, and maybe you even want the same sound for, I don't know, what else would you want, like messaging? You have to go in here and change that sound, whether you want it to be that LG sound or a different sound. So this can get very tedious, because obviously you can see how many menus deep this is, and then if I want to do this for a different application, you know, like if I want to do it for Gmail or I want to do it for, let's find Insta. If I want to do it for Insta, I have to go through the whole process again, go to notifications, categories, 
pick the stuff that I would like to have a separate sound for, you know, anything that I want, like again, comments, go in here once again, and then choose the sound. Now notice, some of these are going to say silent. So if you want to, you can also go in, a lot of these categories, you should be very careful. Some specific apps set notification categories to silent by default, and then you can go in and change it, and you can make sure you, that they're no longer silent, and you'll actually get a notification for those particular things. So it can certainly take a while, especially you can see how many menus deep it is. If you want to do this for every single app, it's going to take forever. I highly recommend you don't go through and change this for every single application because while not only do you have to go through and do it for each app, you've got to do it for each category. And as you guys saw, Instagram, you know, Twitter, I mean X rather, sorry. If you go into X, you'll see there's a lot of categories for these social media. Like this one's got like 25, 30, so does Facebook. So it'll take a long time, but you can do it. And again, any sounds that you want to have available to utilize, you have to go into your files you know, and copy them into the notification folder. So what you're gonna do is exactly what I showed earlier. You download them to the downloads folder, you go in there, you move them or copy and paste them over into this folder right here, which is called notifications. And that's then where the sounds will show up in that list to choose as a notification sound. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish I didn't have to make it again, even though I appreciate Samsung watching out for me because I know this video got a lot of views last year, but I wish they would just remove the advanced notification settings and me, you know, have notification categories on by default. But I hope I was able to help you guys out. Appreciate you guys checking it out. Check out sammyguru.com for the mystery box program and also your latest Samsung news, etc. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.